Yo, what's going on? It's your name, Andrew Tube. I'm back at you again with another video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels, GCVs. We in the building. Everybody, smash that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Let's go. Narcissists are controlled by the devil, and they do everything he tells them to do whenever they want. Narcissists do whatever the devil tells them to. Whatever evil deed they feel like doing, they do it. And that's why you have to separate from them as soon as possible. Because you got to get away from them so that way you can get back to God. Because a narcissist will create a constant hell for you when you have to be around them. Because the energy is going to be too different. Your energy, you're going to try and, you're going to be trying to be positive. You're going to be trying to be of the light. And they're going to be being negative. They're going to be being disruptive to your your peace. And they're going to be they're going to bring a lot of toxic energy to the relationship between you and them. And that's not good for personal development. That's not good for peace of mind. A lot of times when you're in toxic relationships or you deal with narcissistic people, you'll have problems in life and you'll think it's you. You'll think that it's something wrong with you. But a lot of times when a person is going under some type of mental abuse, they are a lot of times on edge, a lot of times easily frustrated because they're already dealing with a lot. It's like somebody at the gym and they're benching 300 pounds and then here comes a narcissist and they like put another 350 pounds on top. That person's going to be like, ah, like they're going to be like, yo, get the heck off me. You know, that's too much weight. But the narcissist is like, I don't care. I'm trying to uh, make you feel how I want you to feel because I don't feel good. So the fact that you may feel good and you're working on yourself and you're trying to make your life better. They don't like that because it's some, that's something that they would never do. That's something that they aren't able to do because they can't they can't get past certain things that they don't want to uncover and reevaluate and go over reanalyze in their mind. So they're stuck in certain levels, but and because they won't um, they won't personally develop themselves or they won't uh, have any growth. They won't grow. So since they don't want to grow, they're not going to level up, right? Like you level up because whatever was wrong with you, you went to God, you went to the mirror, you went to a, maybe in a, maybe even a notebook, wrote things down. You know what? Let me write this down. Let me pray about this. Let me go to God about this. Let me research this. Let me look this up. You always tried to figure out what was wrong with you. You always went went to see if there was a way, if, if you felt any type of way that wasn't good or that wasn't of God. You was like, yo, how can I fix this about myself? God, can you help me with this? You would always go to God and ask for help with certain issues that you had. And that's how you, that's how you know you were chosen. Instead of just going and being a negative person, you would actually go to God and be like, God, I acted this way, this was negative. I may have hurt this person. I may have said something that was bad. I may have done something I regret. I, I may have did something that that wasn't right. God, help me not do this anymore. God, why did I do that? God, I don't I don't want to be this type of person. I don't want to do those type of things. That's the type of person you are. You that's repentance. You'll repent for your actions. You'll repent for what's wrong. You don't want to do wrong. Nobody's perfect. People do things they shouldn't do, but you don't want to do those things. But you, we're perfect in God and we're perfect in Jesus. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes you make a mistake. That's why all God wants us to do is go back to him so we can go back to being perfect. That's all God wants. But narcissists are controlled by the devil and they do everything he tells them to do. So when they see you getting closer to God, they see you reading your Bible, they see you trying to uh, get your diet right so you could be healthy and live longer and have a, 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 a easy life. They're going to see if they can get in between that. They're going to see if they can cause you to slip, cause you to fail, cause you to go back on that covenant that you made with God when you said you were going to turn your life around.
Oh, you're what, what, what makes you this good person? You used to do A, B, C, and D. You're not a good person. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. And that's 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 what makes you a good person. When you divert from your old ways and you do your best to never go back to them. No matter what your story is, that's what makes you a better person. That's what makes you a good person, diverting away from your old ways and never going back to them. Nobody could tell you anything then. But narcissists are controlled by the devil. They'll try to remind you of those those evil, they'll try to remind you of your evil ways. They'll try to bring you back to those those bad mistakes, those evil ways that you were doing because that's what the devil's telling them to do. The devil is trying to use them to get to you because the devil can't get to God. So the devil will use the people around you to get to you. So do you want to oh you want to believe in God? I got I got to get to these people around you because you possess the strongest God energy because you're you're looking for God the most you're seeking for God the most you're 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 trying to walk a right path a righteous path and not a crooked path I gotta use the people around you to try to get to you try to tear you down try to break you try to destroy you try to make you divert from taking the path of righteousness I got to and that devil will use the people around you He'll use them. He'll use the narcissists, the energy vampires, the stalkers. He'll use them because they're controlled by the devil. He tells them to do something. They go do it. Stalk this person. Okay. Follow this person. All right. Try to uh, try to go uh, bug this person and get attention from them when they're over there. Look like they're thinking about something that they're trying to manifest or thinking about something that they're trying to improve or sort out in their mind. Whenever you're trying to sort something out in your mind. Whenever you're trying to think something through, it's, it's weird how they just come out and just try to get you to focus on them. And you're really thinking about something serious. You're really thinking about something life changing, something deep. And they know that, but you're not focused on them and thinking about them. They want you to be in deep thought about them like that. All right. Very egocentric. All right. And they, they want to act like like you're the one who thinks that you're holier than thou or better or whatever and nah it's not even like that because you you got love for people you want to see you got the same love for yourself that you have for everybody else and that's evident and people can see that that's why they try to take advantage of you if they if if people couldn't see that you had a lot of love for people they wouldn't try to use you and take advantage of you because they would see that it would be too difficult to try to get things from you and to try to get certain energy and certain time and try to try to get what they want from you in general. All right. So the people know that you, the people know which side you're on. People know what you represent. People know you, you, you working on yourself and bettering yourself and they see you taking a, a, a righteous path. All right. But narcissists are controlled by the devil. They got to, they got to, um, try to, try to stop that. All right. They got to to try to make sure that doesn't happen because they got to have their way and their way is they want somebody to control. They got to have somebody to have power over. All right. Just like the devil wanted to have power over Jesus. Narcissists got to try to have power over you and they're not going to stop until they get that. They have to have uh, someone that they can inflict their damage to so they could have their joy because that that's what brings them joy the evil ones they they might have depend on the degree it might be a light form it might be a heavy form but light or heavy it is still it's still not good for a person's mind or spirit so whether it's, you're, you're lightly being mistreated or heavily being mistreated is is kind of up to you to decide but it, either one is still not good so do what you have to do accordingly depending on the type of treatment you're receiving but like i said like mistreatment and bad mistreatment is still not 